Hello, my name is Rachel and I love playing with makeup. And another fun video for you guys today. Uh, a company that I've actually purchased from and reviewed in the past, ZC, reached out to me and asked if I would be willing to do another review video for them in exchange for a couple of free products. And since I do enjoy their products, I said, yes, I would love to do that. So they did send me a little bundle of products. Uh, it came in uh, just a regular envelope, but it's, it was in this nice padded inner envelope. So hopefully everything will be intact. <laughs> Uh, everything I've gotten from them in the past has been, so their their, their uh, packaging is usually pretty good. Uh, and, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show you the, the items that they sent me for review. I'm also going to show you my collection of their stuff that I had purchased myself previously, most of it actually off of Amazon. And then... They, oh, oh, I don't think I, I mentioned, they are a, a Chinese makeup company. And uh, they're, they're a, a, a Chinese, I would say a luxury brand. They have just the most gorgeous packaging. Uh, and, and I will be showing you all that here in a minute. Um, but I'm, I'm going to show you like the collection that I have previously that I purchased myself. And then we are going to try the new products. We're going to do a full face of makeup. That's why I'm not wearing any makeup right now. We're going to do a full face of makeup of ZC products because what they sent me were comple uh, mostly complexion products. I think there's like a uh, face cream, a face powder, and uh, then two mascaras. I, I do have a mascara from them. It's a glitter top coat, but I think these are colored mascaras. But let's, let, me, let me just show you what they sent me, <laughs> and then we'll, I'll show you the rest of this stuff, then we'll get into trying it on. Okay, rambling. <laughs> Oh, and I, I do want to point out my Haunted Mansion ears that were a gift from Pixie over at the channel Sequin. I, of course, will link her channel down in the description box below. And I'm also going to put links for um, as many of these products as I can find down in the description box below, both straight from the ZC website and also from Amazon. So let me just get into here. So inside the big bubble wrap, there's a smaller bubble wrap. <laughs> and they did send me... This is from their Alice in Wonderland collection. And this is, I believe, a face powder. Also from the Alice in Wonderland collection. This is a repair cream. I wonder if I ordered, because they had given me a couple of choices. And so I, I actually did choose these products um, off of a limited amount that they gave me choices off of. But I wonder if this is just like a, a moisturizer. Because I thought I was getting a, like a, uh, that called uh, concealer uh, but I think this might just be a moisturizer which is fine because I need a new moisturizer and then these are the two color mascaras I thought they were only going to send me one but they did send me two and I have no idea of knowing which is which color wise <laughs> as they don't really seem to list a color or if they do it's it's not in English Okay, so let me just get these out of the packaging. So here is the face powder they sent me. Let me just peel this piece of plastic off. But how pretty is the art on that? And then inside they do have a mirror which they have a protective thing on. And then let's see if you can see the, there we go, the embossing on the face powder. That is so pretty. And uh, it does come with a little puff. And this is a refreshing silky powder. And this is the face cream. And here is the mascara and it's the same type of tube as the glitter top coat I've gotten from them. Let's see if I can tell what color this is. Actually, this one also looks like a glitter top coat. So I think they sent me another gl <laughs> a glitter top coat, which let me just check there. So I think that's the one I already have. No, no, the one I have already is different. Interesting. Aha, and here's the second mascara they sent me. And this one was the one that I requested. This is sort of a purpley burgundy color. So that is the one we'll be using. Well, I guess we can use both because the other one is a... Oops, that was my previous one. <laughs> because the other one uh, appears to just be a little glitter top coat. 
Okay, so now let me just show you the things that I already have that I purchased myself. I have these two palettes and that's, I mean, th their art is just so cool. Like the little, I even kept the little plastic covers because it matches, but that was that one. So those are the three eyeshadow palettes that I purchased myself previously. Uh, also, this really pretty highlighter. Like the outside packaging wasn't that interesting, but the inside was so cute. And then this from their Nutcracker line, this is just a, a clear face powder where the face powder I have today from the Alice in Wonderland line does have a like neutral tint to it. Oops. Oh, and I do also have a uh, black eyeliner from them. Okay, so let's get started. So we are going to use this Featherlight Repair Cream as my primer. And this is one of the items they just sent me. So that is a nice uh, lightweight feeling moisturizer and uh, not, not greasy, feels good. Has a very, very faint kind of perfumey scent to it. But again, super cute packaging. This is uh, again from their Alice in Wonderland line. Okay, now let's prime the eyes. Okay, so normally I do tape my eyes, but I forgot to bring tape, so we're just gonna freehand it today. And let's see here. I'm gonna go in with, and oh, I'm actually going to go in with this palette because I wanna do some purples. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> so first I am going to go in with this light purple and just dust it all over my eyelid. And as usual, if, uh, I skip out on showing uh, me applying makeup is because I've went out of frame and I don't want you to have to watch the top of my head. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go in with this shimmery purple here and put that on the inside of my eye. Next, I'm going to go into this black shade there for my outer corner. Now their shadows aren't the most pigmented shadows I've ever used, but they are still really pretty colors and still apply nicely. Next I'm going to go into the shimmery pink and put that in the center of my eye. And I am getting just a little bit of glitter fallout. But I think that has a lot to do with the heavy-handed way in which I apply my eyeshadows. <laughs> because I have that problem with just about any eyeshadow. Okay, next, I'm going to go into this sparkly pink over here and blend under the brow bone. Oh yeah, that shade has a lot of glitter, so I'm definitely getting a lot of glitter fallout from that one. <laughs> okay, I'm a little bit covered in glitter, but that's fine. <laughs> we are going to, next is the face. So I'm actually going to use just this powder. I'm not going to do a liquid underneath it. But how cute is that? <laughs> that is the one thing though, when they have cute embossing on their products and you have to mess it up to actually use the product. <laughs> now I'm sure this is supposed to be a finishing powder and not a powder foundation. So I'm probably supposed to be using this over a liquid like foundation makeup you know, to set it, but <laughs> I just wanted to use it just, just by itself because sometimes I will do that with face powders where I won't bother to put on the actual foundation. I'll just do the face powder. And as is true for any face powder, it does cling a little bit to my dry spots, but usually in this type of lighting, you don't see that. 
but it does have a really nice finish it's just lightly tinted and I feel like it did even out my skin tone rather nicely as you can see I really dug into there because I did take off quite a bit of the embossing there <laughs> But I still, I think this packaging is just absolutely adorable. That, of course, being my, um, you know, my favorite thing about this brand is the packaging is so cute. Okay, next up, we are going to move on to, I'm going to go into my eyebrows. And I'm going to do that with this matte purple right there. And next, I'm going to go in with this ZC eyeliner that I had purchased myself previously. Now you guys know I did kind of quit using eyeliner for a while and I was doing everything with shadow, but recently I have started doing eyeliner again, especially when I go out, because I just feel like it lasts longer if I put eyeliner down first and then put some shadow over it. But let's get my highlight going in the inner corner. I'm actually going to go back in with that hot pinkish sparkly color. Now we're going to play with the two mascaras they sent me. First up, I am doing the colored one, which is it's sort of a purpley burgundy color. So it gives just uh, the a nice hint of color. It's a very natural mascara. So if you're looking for something with a lot of volume and length, this definitely isn't the mascara for that. I imagine it would pop really nice over a white primer, uh, mascara primer, which I forgot to bring mine down. So we're just putting it on my bare dark lashes. So if you like a natural mascara with a hint of color, they do offer this in a bunch of different colors. This is that uh, sort of, I can't remember what the color was called, but there will be links down in the description box, but it's like a light purpley burgundy-ish color. Now I'm going to attempt to put some of this glitter over top of it, which I'm going to regret later when I go to remove my makeup and end up with glitter everywhere. <laughs> see if you can see that. I don't know if the lights will make it disappear. All right. Now let me do my... Um, off-brand products real quick. I'm just of course doing my chocolate soleil for my contour. Uh, I'm not doing blush today, but we do have a ZC highlighter that I will be trying. For highlighter, I do have this ZC highlighter that uh, was something that I did purchase myself. And that is a really pretty light champagne color. I hope the light can catch it properly there so you can see it, but it does have a really nice subtle shimmer. And to finish this look, it's just gonna be some lipstick. And I'm actually using this Perfusion, because I actually don't have any lip products from this brand, but uh, I'm using this Perfusion Crystal Ritual lipstick that was gifted to me by Ugly Bunny and I will also link her channel down in the description box below. Definitely go check out Pixie and Ugly Bunny if you haven't already. But let's just... So that is everything for my makeup today. Let me just go over the products that they just sent me for review so I don't get distracted with all the other products by them that I have. <laughs> so first up is this light face cream. And I initially thought I was ordering a like a um, concealer but this this is uh, just a lightweight face moisturizer which I'm really happy to have because I needed a new face moisturizer I was actually running low on my current one so I'm really excited to have that it did feel really nice on the skin again has super cute packaging I've already got fingerprints all over the cap <laughs> there's wipe right off so I do really like this moisturizer. Next is the face powder, which was just so cute. The packaging is absolutely adorable. The lightly tinted shade did a really good job of evening out my skin tone because I did not apply a foundation or any other type of 
face covering. I only used this powder, and I think that it, it had a real has a really pretty finish, and d did a good job of hiding my you know, red spots and such. So yes, but I, uh, this is the one I had previously, which is just a translucent powder, and I, I also enjoyed that one. But that's see, I went off track again. I didn't stick to the ones that they sent me. All right, and then the mascaras. They sent me the glitter top coat and that burgundy mascara and their mascara is like a natural mascara with a hint of color you might really enjoy their mascara now my experience because I, I previously had this glitter top coat so i've experienced their glitter top coats before and they, they look pretty especially like when you're at a dark club and lights are flashing it'll really catch the glitter in the eyelashes uh, however when you do wash it off at the end of the night <laughs> glitter gets everywhere but that's true for like glitter eye uh, liners and eyeshadows as well <laughs> but just something to keep in mind there and so yeah that's that's the the items they sent me and then I also did use this one palette of theirs and their eyeshadows I think I already I might have already mentioned this but yeah their their eyeshadows are decently pigmented not the most pigmented eyeshadows i've ever used but they are decently pigmented i feel like a lot of uh, like asian makeup uh, from china from japan from korea they're, they're all more into more subtle makeup looks so they tend to be a little lighter on pigment and compared to some korean eyeshadows i've used this definitely has a lot more pigment than that but but i think that's just a cultural thing in the way that you know our different cultures like to do our makeup <laughs> where I'm like very heavy-handed and they're into more subtle natural looks <laughs> but yeah so that is um, everything I have for you today let me know what you thought about all these products down in the comment section below and what you thought about <laughs> this packaging is just too cute I mean I just I absolutely love this packaging so cute <laughs> But like their old packaging too though. I'm just obsessed with their packaging. It's just it's definitely my favorite thing and it's what first drew me to the brand. So yeah, so that's it. That's everything I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, of course you can give me a thumbs down and please tell me all about it in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.